Hey everybody, I'm here today with a cool experiment. In this video, I will be taking apart an ethernet cable. So I actually have many leftover ethernet cables from all of the products that I've purchased and used over the years. And I really don't wanna have them lying around. So I figured that I would do some videos with them. And one of the videos that I wanted to do was I wanted to take apart an ethernet cable. So as you can see, yes, this is a perfectly good ethernet cable, but I'm like, I'm telling you I have tons and I felt bad throwing it out. So I wanted to make this video. Um, and I'm just gonna be using a regular pair of scissors. Now, yes, in a better situation, I would have better tools, but to be honest with you, it's really late at night. My wife and kids are asleep and I don't want to go to the garage to get my tools so I'm just deciding to sort of make this video in the basement nice and quietly with a pair of scissors so first and foremost what I want to take what I want to take a look at is inside of here you can see they're all different colored cables and each of those cables is sort of crimped into place um, and it's connected to one of these uh, metal connectors right there obviously this piece right here is the piece that sort of holds it in place um, we're gonna I'm just gonna bend that off um, and we're gonna start off with that just to get it out of the way I'm gonna try and take it apart in a slowly but surely fashion because I don't want to lose any plastic parts on the floor so let's just okay I guess I'm not as strong as I thought that I was no this that's not coming off no problem we're gonna leave that as is next what I want to try and do is I want to try and wiggle this out so if we can actually pull it out um, and if you'll notice one of the uh, connectors right there is not um, it doesn't have any insulation around it, the one all the way on this end, which is interesting. So it makes me, it sort of leads me to believe that it's some sort of ground. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and wiggle this out. Let's see if we can wiggle this out just like that. There we go, it's coming out, I think. Or at least the sheathing is coming out. Okay, so you know what? I mean, it's not coming out. What we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this out just like that. We're gonna pull the sheathing down, okay? Um, I'm actually going to be cutting the cable loose just like that. So we're gonna cut this off just like that over there, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look over here. So let's uh, see the number of wires that we have here. Hopefully the camera stays in focus. Now hopefully you're finding this video a little, a little bit um, educational and entertaining. Um, if you want more videos like this, then drop a comment below. I'll take apart, you know, anything, like what's inside of an ethernet cable, HDMI, no problem. I'll take apart as many things as, as I can, as, as you want, but just drop a comment and let me know that you like this, or I won't be doing more of these videos, or at least not many more of these videos. So we're gonna start off with this one all the way over here, the uninsulated one, that's the first one. Then we have the second one, which looks like it's a white wire, a white insulation with a little black stripe on it, that's the second one. The third one looks like it's a white with a green stripe on it, so that's the third one. The fourth one looks like it's a green insulated a wire. The fifth one, I think I'm in order, I can't remember right now, to be honest with you, it's too late at night. The fifth one is a blue insulated wire, okay? The sixth one is a white with a blue stripe. The seventh one is a uh, orange. And the eighth one is actually a white with an orange stripe. So it looks like we have an uninsulated one. And then for every color, we have the equivalent white with the stripe of that color. We have a green and a green with a stripe. We have a blue with a blue and a stripe. And we have an orange with an or with a, with a, sorry. <laughs> we have a green with a white and a green stripe. A blue with a white and a blue stripe. And then an orange with a white and an orange stripe, if that makes sense. You could probably tell it's late at night because I'm way more quiet than I usually am. And I feel like I'm sort of off my game with regards to uh, what I'm saying. Anyways, so that's that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the sheathing over here. I think the easiest way to be honest with you, instead of me trying to like get my scissors in there and cut it, I mean, I can do this, right? I can definitely do that. That's something that I can do. Let's see. Uh, what I wanna know is, is there any material inside of here that is meant to prevent noise and discourage noise? Now, if you'll notice on many different cables, there's gonna be an inner layer of sheathing um, that is intended to prevent noise. On most speaker wire, I really don't want to cut myself this late at night. I really don't want to. So I'm going to be careful with these scissors. Um, on speaker wire, on some different coaxial cables, you're going to find an inner layer of sheathing. And the goal of that inner layer of sheathing is to prevent uh, noise.
moist from occurring. So to prevent any interference, which surprisingly, there isn't any in here, which is interesting. I would like to know if this is the only ethernet cable that doesn't have that noise prevention or because it like it because it's something I got for free with the product or if no ethernet cables have that noise prevention method. But interestingly enough, this one doesn't have it, but I mean, I could be completely wrong. Maybe it's built into these cables right here. Now, if you look, um, these are actually uh, intertwined with each other, which is interesting. Um, the uh, white, let's try and get the camera to focus right here. Um, the white and green along with the green are intertwined. The white and orange along with the orange are intertwined. And then the white and blue along with the blue are intertwined. And then the uh, white and uh, the white and brown along with the brown are intertwined. I feel like I missed one when I did it because I feel like I thought that this was an uninsulated one. When I did, was doing this, I, f I thought that this was an uninsulated one. However, uh, this is actually a brown coated wire and that's a white with a brown. So I was, I was wrong and I'm glad that I found this out. Um, so it looks like there are essentially four pairs of wires. Now what I would wonder, and I wanna do some additional research, is if uh, these are connected. So if the green and then the white with the green stripe, if they're linked, or if that's just the easiest way that they can color code the wires. Um, so interestingly enough, that is what it is, what it looks like. So I'll just, let's cut these. I mean, since we came this far, might as well cut these two. And we'll take a look. Very interesting. Now the gauge of the wire of each of these wires is extremely small. So I mean, if you're not working with the right tools and you're trying to do anything with ethernet cable, like to work with these wires is very small. Totally different than, you know, like wiring up a light switch. Like when I wire up a light switch or a plug or a light, when I'm dealing with electrical wires, um, you know, it's much, in my opinion, even though they're bigger, it's much easier to work with them because they're more geared towards the size of my tools and my fingers, whereas these are extremely small. So, I mean, I really would not want to work with any of these. What I want to do to end off this video is I want to try, see if I still got the skill. I want to try and, and strip one of these wires to get rid of the sheathing off one of the wires using the pair of scissors. And I think I have succeeded. Let's see. And then we can see the actual gauge of the wire inside and if there is any additional sheathing that I was talking about for noise prevention. So we're almost there. Let's just, I don't want to cut the whole wire. And if I can't do it, it's no problem. There we go. Ah, what am I saying if I can't do it? Come on, guys and girls, let's be real here. Of course I can do it. Um, that's not just me. Anyone can do anything if you take your time and you work at it. So as you can see, you no, know, the inside looks, in my opinion, um, a little bit smaller than speaker wire. Than speaker gauge wire and there's it doesn't look like there's any additional noise prevention sheathing it's just very thin wire and that's it i mean i really just to be honest with you wanted to um take apart and look inside of an ethernet cable i had this one lying around um i you know, I really I had tons lying around. Like I probably had like uh, over 10 different ethernet cables of various sizes lying around. I didn't want to throw them out. However, I knew that I would probably never need them again since everything is like wireless nowadays. So with that being said, I figured that, you know, I, I would do something with it, make some content with it. Like I said, if you like this type of video, then just drop a comment below. Let me know what you want me to take apart. Like I'll take apart anything, no problem. Just drop a comment. Let me know uh, if you want the content, I will make it. So drop a comment. Let me know what you want me to take apart. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.